Hi there, welcome back to another video. I am Nurse Master Charlie, and today we're gonna to be talking about a CGM, a Continuous Glucose Monitor. Now, you've probably seen people, if you've seen anybody, with this little round thing on their arm, um, that's the that's actually the monitor. Uh, some can be worn on the arm, some can be worn on the belly, depending on the type of company that makes it. So today, stay tuned, we're gonna be talking about that. So there's two types of ways we can test our blood sugar, which is the continuous glucose monitor, which we're gonna talk about today. And then there's the traditional finger stick. Now this is a glucometer. This is a Freestyle Freedom Light, and this is a one-touch VarioFlex. Now these machines require a test strip that actually goes into the machine here, and then when you poke your finger, you put the blood onto the test strip. All right, so this is a test strip. This is from the Freestyle Light. Now this test strip basically goes into the machine and it turns on. And then we put our blood on the end here. And that gives us what we call a, bl a blood sugar from our capillaries. And that's called a finger stick. But that requires you to use a lancet. Now, a lancet is a real small needle. I don't know if this can focus in on that, but it's a super small needle. And what it does, it literally just pokes your finger and then you get your drop of blood. Now, depending on your type of therapy and the type of diabetes you, you have, you may have to test your blood sugar one time a day, two times a day, three times, four times, or whenever you don't feel so well, maybe you feel a little shaky, a little sweaty, a little dizzy, so that's where it requires you to test your sugar to make sure that it's not actually too low. That's gonna require a lot of poking and poking yourself, it's not painless. There is some pain involved. It might not be super painful, but doing this you know, every time or every day for one time a day, two times a day, for five days a week, seven days a week, four weeks out of the month, and then 12 months out of the year, well, that can cause a lot of calluses. It can cause people to become, become discouraged about wanting to poke their finger all the time. And that's one of the issues with diabetes is knowing your blood sugar and the compliance or making sure that we actually are, are testing our sugar. But what if there was a way that we didn't have to poke our finger and we could test as many times as we wanted in a day? If we wanted to test one time or a hundred times without poking our finger. Wouldn't that be great? Well, that's what a continuous glucose monitoring system does. This is a Freestyle Libra, and this is the reader. It kind of looks like the glucometer, but the difference in this one and the difference in this one, this one you have to poke your finger, this one you don't. What this does this actually, it has an area for a test strip if you needed to test your blood sugar. But what this does, this is a reader and it does exactly what that says. It reads your blood sugar. How does it do that? Well, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna put a sensor on me in a minute and then we actually will just scan our arm and it will give us the number of our blood sugar. Let's open this Freestyle Libra. So in here, in the box, we have the injector, if you want to call it an injector. And this is where our actual our sensor is at. And I'm going to show you how we put this all together. So what we're technically going to do is this, we're going to kind of stick it into here. And inside of here is the sensor. Now the sensor is about the thickness of two quarters. A little bit bigger than two quarters as far as its diameter, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like once we put it all on. And what it does is we're gonna kind of click this into here. We're gonna take the sensor out, and then we're gonna put it on my arm here, and we're just gonna inject it one time. Now what it is, it is a little needle. The needle is what pierces the skin. And what it's gonna do under the skin, under, under the needle, it's, it has a little plastic 
like a little cannula, which is kind of like when you put an IV in somebody, you inject it with the needle, you remove the needle part, and you leave the cannula in the arm. And that's how we're able to give fluid or even take out blood if we need to. All right, so let's open these products here. So I'm gonna kind of get a little closer here. This is where our sensor is at. And see, it has a little notch here. We're gonna use that to connect it to our our injector, I guess we'll call it. This part here, we're just gonna unscrew, okay? And it's spring-loaded, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna line up this line here with this, you can see that, this line here, okay? And then we're gonna put this in here like this, click, and now when I pull it out, it's all ready to put in my arm. Okay, so we're gonna take this out, now it's already there. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna prep the arm here. Clean this with a little bit of alcohol. Back here. I don't want it to go in the, not actually in the muscle. Get this dry. We're just gonna place this right over the top here. And then one, two, three. Hold it for a little bit just to let the glue from the sensor part kind of stick. And take that right on off. And that's what it looks like right there. I'm just gonna make sure this part sticks really good. Push that down in there. And you can see, like I said, kind of quarter your size. As far as, I don't know, you can see the thickness of it, kind of a weird angle, but not too thick. And then what I'm gonna do here is we get, get this reader now, and you turn this on, the power button here, and it says actually, start new sensor. So then what I do, and what it'll do, it'll take me 60 minutes or an hour for this to kind of get all ready to go. And then in an hour, I'll show you my first blood sugar, what it looks like. So, be back in a little bit. Back, it is later, like I said. And so what I've done is I'm turning on my reader here, and I'm going to scan my arm. Basically, oops, gotta put, check sugar first. Check my sugar. And it says 106. We can take a peek at that real quick. Uh, I can focus on that. So 106. So the reason I'm doing this is I'm not, I'm not a diabetic. Um, I, I am a certified diabetes educator, and it's always good to know what product to do. So when our patients are wearing them, and also to kind of keep tabs on my own blood sugar. And once in a while, we have an extra sensor and reader around and we, before they expire, we will wear them or I'll wear it to kind of see what my sugars are doing. It gives me a good idea what my blood sugars are doing just in case. And like right now, I just finished uh, doing a little bit of yard work and I'm 106 and heading down. So I'm still burning some sugar from doing, I did a run in the morning and I did some yard. What I'm gonna do is scan myself, my blood sugar basically hold it here and it gives me the reading of what my blood sugar is really simple saves a bunch of poking on your fingers run in the morning and then I did some yard work so kind of a good thing here anyway so that's the reason that I'm actually wearing this not because I have diabetes the whole goal is to try to prevent diabetes through diet and exercise and I do the exercise part quite frequently and then the diet parts a little bit sometimes a little challenging because all the good stuff is sweet. And so let's continue with the video. All right, so now wearing this is very inconspicuous. Nobody can really tell it, have it on. Some people, it matters whether they're showing their, their tester and some people it doesn't. So this is like, this is very inconspicuous. Nobody knows you have it and you can test your sugar at any time. Now what's the difference between this reader from the continuous glucose monitor and a finger stick. 
While the finger stick technically reads your capillary blood, this is into your interstitial fluid. And the way that works is, when you have in your bloodstream, you have your capillaries. The blood sugar, when we measure, that's what the amount of sugar that's in the bloodstream. But once it, what ends up happening is it kind of seeps into the interstitial fluid, um, or interstitial tissue and fluid in about 10 minutes or so. So it's gonna have what they call a lag time, which is like if your blood sugar is 100, this one might not show 100 yet, but in about 10 minutes, it will show approximately 100. They're never really gonna be exactly the same due to this lag time. So the best way I've ever seen it explained is kind of like a train. So I use some of my grandbaby's little train pieces here. When you have a train, think of the engine is kind of like the blood sugar in your capillary or your finger. And as it rides, the con continuous glucose monitor is in the interstitial fluid, so it's kind of behind. So as this hits the bumps, it's gonna be you know high or a little higher, a little lower, a little higher, a little lower. As you start to climb, let's say somebody's sugar is 100, 200, this one's still by, behind here says maybe, if this says 100, this might say you know, 80-ish or 90-ish. And as it starts to come down, this one eventually will show that it is 100, and then it goes back down. So normally the blood sugar is gonna be about a 10 minute lag time, because if you figure this is kinda of going like this, and as this comes up, this eventually will get there in about 10 minutes. The biggest differences are gonna be around meal times, because you figure the sugars are gonna start to go up pretty quick, and then maybe when somebody takes medication, hopefully it's bringing it down, and exercise can also maybe bring it down. Might bring it up a little bit at first and then bring it back down. But kind of think of the little train analogy as blood sugars being different from the capillary like in your finger versus the sensor in the arm. So I hope that made sense using my little trains here. It's just a, an easy way to kind of describe of, of why there's a difference between the capillary and the interstitial fluid or the interstitial tissue in our arm because eventually the sugar is going to kind of show it's going to seep into the interstitial fluid and the tissue and give you what the actual number is. So you can always use the reader to test your blood sugar or it's kind of nice also is that you can use your phone. You can also scan also with your phone, which is kind of nice because you always have your phone around. You might not always have the reader with you if you forget it at home, but people generally carry their phones around with them. You just have to download the app for your phone. That way you can actually read your blood sugar with that. These last for 14 days. It kind of gives you a, a, an average also in here. You can kind of see trends. It gives you a little wave. When you scan, it gives you your number. You can go back and look at your history and what it does, it provides a graph to show you what your blood sugars have been doing you know, for the past 24 hours. What's kind of nice, it also gives you some arrows to point either pointing up, kind of level or pointing down. If it's level, it's kind of showing your blood sugar is stable. If it's going up, it's kind of showing you your blood sugar is going up. If it's going down, it kind of gives you an idea what your blood sugar is if they're going down. Um, kind of gives you an awareness if the blood sugar is dropping that maybe you can, you have some time where you can eat something. So I'm not giving a product endorsement, but just talk to your doctor about either getting a um, Freestyle Libra or there's another company called Dexcom that uses the same type of a reading system. It's a sensor or it's a reader and the sensor that those sensors you can put you know in your belly these are not recommended for the belly or the stomach area it's only recommended uh, for the arm the other one the the dexcom is about a little bit smaller i think or kind of about the same size um, usually goes on the body you can't wear it on the arm but it goes mostly on the body and that one is not where you actually scan yourself it just sends the information to a reader or to your phone. There's no need to actually scan with that. This one you actually have to scan. And so kind of be more conspicuous with your phone if you wanted to do that, it's kind of up to you. But you just have to talk to your doctor about as far as um, if you qualify for that or if you want, you can pay out of pocket, but I believe you do need a prescription for that. Just wanted to do a quick little video about what a continuous glucose monitor is, what it looks like, how to put it on, 
and what the benefits are as far as checking your blood sugar without having to poke your finger. So I hope that just brings you a little bit more information. I know you probably see the commercials for these, these type of uh, readers and sensors as far as the continuous glucose monitors or they call them CGM or CGMSs, the continuous glucose monitoring systems. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more videos about nursing, health, education, and music. So thank you for watching. God bless and bye-bye. Mm -hmm.